Welcome back to yet another Zero Takedown Ghost. I'm Grease Scotsman, and we're about to get an assignment here. This is a side quest that has you Jackson. infiltrate the DRB oh, gang, hideout, we used to work the old stronghold, whatever you want to call it. And I thought, you know, I wish as much I as I, I wasn't really going to focus on side quests, bit, I'm going to do whatever I can bullshit, anyway, right? because at certain points of the mission, us. even though you don't complete the entire thing, you still Why get a certain amount of XP. So I figured, let me do as much as I can without that, breaking that, the rules well. of Zero Takedown. So, here's a little rundown of what uh, I'm about to do. Break into his apartment, sneak into DRB territory, and finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. Can't let a guy like that roam free. So obviously, you know, some of the things like breaking into the apartment I won't really show because there's really no stealth involved, you're just hacking a door. But the actual infiltration of the DRB hideout, uh, I will be showing off in this. And actually I'll be showing it twice because the order that I did things worked out quite well because I knew, having played through the rest of this mission, that I would be leaving by way of the roof. So I plan accordingly. Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is go um, essentially hand in the quest, complete the quest that I did in the other Have segment of the police station. I've got to know what really happened to make it. Because this is one quest that you can complete in its uh, all entirety without right. breaking any rules Something was off with of the ZTG. So there are only find? certain side quests Someone you can do. Obviously, Andrei. I can't do Worried the final stage of the sure MCB leader, because that involves takedowns. You have to take down the gang. There's also, of course, the final stage of O'Malley. Uh, you cannot complete that quest uh, if you are following a zero takedown philosophy. However, that. you do want to try to complete as many stages as you can, because you do get completion bonuses for each portion that you hand in. You, I'm trying to sort of clip the dialogue Hello, into Richard. bits and pieces just so you get a gist, now. but I don't well, want to give away any real there, big spoilers. So as you recall in the police I station segment, tunnel, I was able to retrieve that neural hub. Access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? As a quick aside, I noticed what I guess is sort of a bug for those that are doing this quest, one of the other portions of the side quest is to go Richard, take care of a, uh, another, connected. the opposing I gang's know. leader, and you have to um, knock out all Richard. of the Not his entire gang members. History. There's the That's very first guy that you encounter that's standing next to the couch that's out in the hallway. He, if you was doing the actual stun him, exactly. with even with and your stun gun, was, before you talk to him, like basically if you get too close, he'll say, go away. If you stun him, you will kill him. So I think that might be where a lot of people are losing out on the uh, zero kills award, achievement, whatever you want to call it. It's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. Alright, so I actually picked this up essentially where uh, O'Malley tells you where a weapon is. You're supposed to go assassinate a guy, but we're not going to do that. Because uh, we are one of the good guys, at least in this playthrough, and so I just want to kind of give an idea. Um, that's the entrance I will be taking, but I want to show you essentially where I am going to be approaching it from, just in case uh, people have a hard time getting their bearings. So there's the main entrance that I just sort of uh, scoped out there. So this fire escape here is your main entrance at least going this route. Again, I love how this game has... I mean, uh, the police station alone had, I think, what, four entrances? And then this, I think I've counted more than four just to get into the DRB complex. Uh, really, hats off to the developers at taking, you know, sort of the love and care it takes to put a multi multiple route and game together so well. I really appreciate it. So here, we're going to crawl across these vent ducts 
You may want to save here because if you miss, you'll die. A uh, little hint there, you want to be standing for the first jump, crouching for the second jump, and crouching for the third. Otherwise, you'll hit your head and you'll go splat down below. So, down this fire escape, there's going to be one guy that uh, simply you have to get his attention. You don't have to be caught by him, but you have to get his attention. Um, you want to use this box down below, just drop onto it for a soft landing. And I've tried just about everything, jumping around, throwing things, whatever, and nothing gets his attention until you do... I'm waiting for that person to move. Until, basically, as soon as you pass this point right here, he automatically becomes alarmed. You know, again, this is this was within the, the scope of the rules where as long as you are never actually detected, the idea is uh, it is okay if you can't get a guard to move. You can do something in order to get their attention to pull them out of place just temporarily. He will go back to uh, a normal state in just a few seconds. Right there. So... Again, a very temporary uh, disturbance. And now we just ghost him in his wake. And wait, make sure that one guy is not facing you. That was uh, kind of chilling. He does turn his head, so that's careful there. How can I help you, Francis? You know why I'm contacting you. The transmission that's making a mockery of your security efforts? It's keeping a back door open into our network. None of us are secure unless you find the antenna that's sending it and shut it down. <laughs> For you? Anything. Oh, Richard. All right. So this is really, I think, where the game starts to get pretty fun. I, I really enjoyed infiltrating this. Make sure that guy doesn't see me. And should be clear. Making sure he's actually going to stay put. So these guys, you have to pretty much wait out this conversation. Didn't I, I tell think. you it was a stupid idea to let those. I've tried SWAT turning past them, and they tend to spot me. So yeah, but it wasn't our decision. So too bad. Besides, they paid rent like everybody else. So what's the big deal? Come on. These spucks have been coming in here promising all sorts so one of interesting piece of information there is he said and all the you know, it wasn't our decision but at least they paid rent they never took you. so the way they fucked up nice little uh, uh, junction thickening of the old plot that there. Sky high with every fucking Robohogger inside it Sanders is all talk then why'd you bring him up so as soon as this guy kind of gets to his resting place then it's clear to go right about now And make sure that that guy has his video game out, otherwise he might spot you. And I'm using the radar here, there's a guy on my left that I'm waiting out. And you have to be a little bit careful here because he will check back behind him a little bit further down the path. Checking, and now it's clear. Nice place to store bodies in that container, in case you're playing a takedown style. If you think offense ain't that bad, then why don't you just become a skinner yourself? I'm just saying, think about it. We told the out on the and. Just to sort of comment on the number of entrances, when I first played this, I was somewhere in the building on my left, and I came out, like, through a window that's on the second floor, I you know, third floor or something of the building that's essentially behind where the camera is right now. And it was, like, came through a vent, I think that's, I think that's where the rocket launcher is, that they're talking about. 
I feel yep. it. The just mentioned the vent I came elevator through. Shaffney. Yeah. So that guy's clear, it's time to move. Uh, these guys, you gotta be pretty patient to get through here. I'm cutting out, once I get into these tubes, these sewer tubes, I'm going to be cutting out a lot of footage of me just waiting for them to path to the proper location so I can get by unnoticed. This guy turns down, there's a guy, the other guy's coming back, but I'm shielded by the container at least to get this far. Cut out some footage. Waiting for him to turn away. And again, a little bit more footage cut. And as soon as this guy turns the corner, we're clear to go to the stash. And I think that there's a Praxis kit down below. I think I read that on the forum somewhere. So, for those that are curious, going into the sewers might be a benefit to you. I haven't yet to go down there, because there's just so much crap to do. And I actually still want to complete the game. I'm not even done yet, so... I think I'm somewhere in Montreal. I've gotten past the funicular. Anyway, time to replace the barrels and head on out. I have the weapon stash and the, uh, the evidence I need against O'Malley. So it's time to hightail it out. Again, my focus here is solely on the side quest portion. I'm not worrying about any of the main quests just yet. Almost got spotted there. I got lucky that the door to that container was open, otherwise I would have been screwed. And so there's just this one guy that's pathing back. It's almost clear. And I think, honestly, I could probably try cutting right across. There's one guy in the window, if you look on the radar, you have to kind of watch out for He's He's looked away, but um, that window that's over near that uh, dumpster, there's potentially a guy there looking out. So you gotta, got to kind of be a little bit cautious. So put the dumpster back, and now I just retrace my steps in order to get out of here. What I'm looking for is, I'm trying to get a sight on the guy that paths back and forth up ahead. There he is, I just spotted him. So I'm waiting for him to come through and turn around. He's finished with his cigarette, and so I will swat turn my way to victory. Now here, this is my first playthrough of coming through, so I, I'm not really sure how I'm going to get past this guy, because he stops and he turns where I, I might be able to sneak past him when he's looking out that way, but I realize, huh, I'll just hide here, maybe? Let's see if this works. So I'm thinking, I'm probably going to get spotted. Let me hug the corner. He looks pretty much right at me, but doesn't see me. So, I'm like, alright, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Kind of wish I had been spotted there, to be honest. I would like this game to be a little bit more challenging. I wish there was, like, a, a realistic setting or something where their fields of vision actually included a bit more peripheral. So that's a hobo. She won't actually sound any alarms, but there's one guy over there you have to watch out for. So hug the wall, and you're pretty much home free. Now, this is one thing I cannot understand. I'm looking for him. I'm like, well, where's... I'm looking at the radar, and I'm like, where's the guy that gave me so much trouble getting past this part before? I, I have no idea where he went, to be honest. I was like, all right, well, I'll take it. 
Looks like I get to leave this way, no problem. Now, up at the top of the staircase, there is a wall that you can punch through, but it will kill the guy on the other side, so... Obviously, that is not my uh, choice. <laughs> Zero takedowns. So again, save your game here in case uh, you hit your head or something. It kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Ugh. All right, so that was the side quest. We we'll start at pretty much the same point. This is the main quest where we have to get to the radio tower. And uh, it's all pretty much the same, to be honest. So I'm actually going to use this time to sort of talk about my, my thoughts of the game. Uh, from a stealth perspective, it's certainly better. It's certainly better than, uh, than quite a few games that have you know, tried to have some sort of stealth element to them. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit too easy. It seemed like in Splinter Cell, when you got detected, it was a bit more of a, you know, oh shit moment. Whereas in this game, you have a bit more of an arsenal to deal with it. Of course, then Splinter Cell went, you know, the Jack Bauer route, and where you're able to, like, hit a button and have it win for you, which is kind of silly, but... All things considered, um, the stealth in this game is pretty good. I wish that guards were a lot more sensitive. See, here, here, I'm looking for the guy. I'm like, where the heck did this guy go? I'm like, did I, you know, was I playing the other, my takedown playthrough where I'm doing all close quarters combat? And that's where I hid the body was back in that corner uh, that I checked. In Splinter Cell, though, you had to worry a lot more about your noise and, of course, the play of light and shadow was absolutely fantastic. I uh, kind of miss it, to be honest. But then again, it is pretty fun to play stealth in pretty much full light situations where it's really you're using cover as your stealth mechanic. Because, of course, in Splinter Cell, the noobs would just show up to a level and shoot out all the lights and then just herp-a-derp all the way through, so... Another thing that I really appreciate so far in the game is uh, just level of complexity to each map. When I first showed up on this map, I went outside somewhere and kind of came back. Like there was this little camp of hobos outside uh, near the weapon stash, and I almost knocked them out because that was my takedown playthrough. I've got two concurrent playthroughs going on. That was my takedown playthrough, and you know I was so like you know trying to deal with uh, all the the paths and everything that I almost knocked out these poor hobos that were just trying to watch at broken TV. But, you know, really appreciate that level of complexity. Ugh. Being able to really choose, like, I think there's some elevator route uh, through that doorway that I just passed. Um, it's, it's pretty impressive, to be honest, the number of ways in that you can take. So I really enjoy it. And I can't wait to go through and play. Uh, like, my plan right now is just to play through, you know, full stealth. And I find a path that works for me and I take it. But my plan is to go through again, probably as my uh, psychopathic murdering uh, Rambo playthrough, and I will be uh, searching through every nook and cranny that I can, so. I'm able to do this quite a bit faster because you don't have to wait for the conversation so they, they don't start all the way out near the... Um, I still have to wait here, though, of course. They don't start out near the 
uh, container at the very entrance of this area. So that helps to get through it faster. And this gets a little bit hairy because I know that the guy that's on the right of me on the radar is about to path up and towards me. But then I can see on the radar the guy that's heading towards me sort of top left. I'm like, okay, this is going to get interesting. I have to wait until he's at least past the container. Oh, and I almost get spotted there. Got really close. So that guy passed back this way. And I'm waiting for this guy to get out of my face. There we go. And I'll cut the footage here so I don't have to wait for this one guard to pass so much. There we go. This guy takes forever to come out. But as soon as he passes you, you're pretty much home free because he will stand there staring out into the courtyard forever. So uh, there's a ladder. I have yet to even take that. So yet another route that I have no clue where it goes. So kind of cool. Um, lots of exploration to do. Uh, here, there's one guy that will... Let me see if we can hear it. Zip. Yep, he's going to go take a pee. So that's your cue. I thought we had cable. How comes I ain't getting nothing but Pike's news? That's all we do get. And for those that have yet to figure out, because I have seen this posted on the forums several times, how to get past mines, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's actually easier than I would like it to be. You have to make sure that you are crouched and that you are walking. So I think the, the default key to toggle your walk and run is the caps lock key. And once you do that, then you can walk right up to these things, pretty much. And you just interact once to turn them off, interact twice to pick them up. Uh, I wish that they were a little bit more like, again, one thing I loved about Splinter Cell is that you had to time your action. There was a, there was like a flashing green and red light on the mine. And you had to make sure to press the button at just the right time when it was green, otherwise kablooey. And it was actually pretty hilarious when you blew yourself up, so. Alright, so the mines have been traversed. Time to walk quickly again. And we're pretty much done. We're up on the roof at this point. And um, there's just two guys left. I, I couldn't remember if they ever like watched TV or something, so I was trying to be cautious as I entered this room and make sure they weren't about to... No, didn't say Screw up my when party. Close to the warehouse, there were already people in there. Was it the bangers? I heard they've been expanding out there. So, last thing you need to do, whoops, hang on. Last thing you need to do is go and hack this thing. And as you can see, these nice little stone uh, cinder blocks provide cover for you while you hack this thing. So you're really in no danger of being discovered here. So take your time, hack it away. And when they're done with the conversation, they walk away from you anyway. Um, again. I kind of wish that maybe there was a little bit more difficulty. And maybe I wish that the guards Access would, granted. you know, not stop Boss, in front of every up? cover point before no, they job. see you, you know what I mean? Just sent me the all clear. Or that no, you'd have to, to hack stuff quickly before this. getting spotted. Uh, it's one of the things I kind of love, that danger Jensen, element of me? Splinter Cell. Loud and clear. Uh, but the Deus Ex Human Revolution is an absolutely fantastic up. game. So, I'm making sure that these guards aren't about to come back before I make my exit. And there's the all-important ghost bonus. Done and done. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't hear some big-ass harrier landing on their roof. You'd think that'd be sort of a rare occurrence and they'd want to go check it out, but I guess not. You ready to leave? So, that concludes the DRB side quest and main quest. Great portion Detroit of Detroit walkthrough, Echo, Echo, and zero, next up will be the factory on. that you infiltrate in order to track down Barrett. Stay tuned.